students last time i uh, explain you the formula relating that formula will come to the questions okay look at here these questions x plus 4 into x plus 10 how you have to solve you remember the formula the formula is what the formula i'm telling you i'll make it a focus here the formula look at here the formula was x plus a into x plus b i'll not write the formula i'm just telling you this formula you have to apply here okay what is the formula x square first term square that means this one square i'll make x square correct plus sum of the second term a plus b do you remember a plus b here a is 4 b is 10 so 4 plus 10 close bracket after that what you have to write here the first term again remember a plus b of x x was there the first term the first term x i'm writing here plus product of last term a into b was there no so it is 4 into 10 you refer the formula always okay 4 into 10 a into b are you clear now so now we'll write here x square 4 plus 10 14 x plus 40 so this is the answer applying this formula clear understand so there is expanding form by product using identity we call clear another one also there look at these questions first term what is first term 3x so make it first term square 3x whole square correct then plus the formula say plus a even that is called second term sum of the second terms i'm writing 4 minus 5 but there is plus was there in the formula but if you think 4 plus into minus minus that's why i write directly 4 plus you have to write plus but there is a minus plus into minus minus clear and after close bracket the first term what is the first term 3x so the first term write again and plus first term a last two term multiplication a into b that means 4 into minus 5 clear now how much it is Whenever whole square, I give it a bracket, it's a very important meaning of the bracket. If you don't give bracket, you write only say 3x square. There's a meaning is only x square, 3 is not under square. So be careful to write. So 3 square, this is also square, this is also square. So it is 9x square. Clear? Then 4 minus 5. Different sign we subtract. But who is bigger? That sign come to the answer. So minus will come here is not it the minus multiply with this outside sign plus and it will become minus then 5 minus 4 1 x 1 into 3 how much 1 is 1 into 3 how much directly you can write 3 x clear now come here plus into minus minus 4 5s are 20 this is the way you can get these answers this is also product using the same formula now look at here these questions it also looks like same but not look like same but not exactly same look at here first term okay here also first term okay second term are not same but here second term also same when first term is same second term same only the difference with their sign then the what formula is supposed to be applied a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square so what is a square here this one is a that is a plus b and a minus b so it will be a square means what y square whole square don't say only y square a itself a y square that also square okay minus b square b square means 3 by 2 whole square clear so how much it will come 2 2 is a 4 so y to the power 4 Minus both are under square. Bracket means both. This also square. This also square. So 3 square is 3 3 is a 9. 2 square is 2 2 is a 4. I told earlier. When a square means same number multiply that much time which number are in the power. Clear? So this is the answer. So this is the way we can find product with the applying formula. Now we come to some application of the formula. Some more applications. Clear? Understand? Now look at the one more question. So 103 into 107. Without actual multiplication, 
you have to find the product product means multi result of the multiplication by using identities identities means formula clear look at here what i can write here 100 plus 3 and here we can write 100 plus 7 that means what the same number first time but second time are different that is that formula what is the formula x plus a into x plus b what is the formula tell me x square plus bracket a plus b bracket close into the first term is x plus a into b isn't it so look at here first time x square means here 100 square plus the so sum of the second term 3 plus 7 into what first term 100 plus 3 into 7 3 into 7 clear now 100 square this type this type of square you learn only in class 8 okay one square is one two zero two times right four zero comes are you clear then 3 plus 7 how much is 10 into 100 plus 3 7 is 21 so now it is 10,000 plus it is how much 100 into 10 is 1000 plus 21 now you have to add this all if you know partial addition is good you should learn that one also first first one 1 0 0 that is 1 then second term 2 0 0 that is 2 third not there third here 0 0 fourth 1 0 1 then remaining is 1 so this is the way you can add partially and first without any rough work clear now same type of questions we can apply different formula I'll show you again Now look at here, 104 into 96, find the product using identity. Here, easily you can write 100 plus 4 because you already learned that part, 100 plus 3, no? But here we cannot do that. 100 plus you cannot do because below 100. So what you will do here, you will write here, 100 minus 4 is 96. So what this line turns into? a plus b into a minus b no more x plus a into x plus b here a plus b into a minus b what is the formula a square minus b square what is a square first term square first term square is 100 square minus second term square means 4 square you already know how to write 1 square is 1 then 0 0 0 0 minus 4 square is how much 16 are you clear now you subtract. I told you partially. Suppose someone don't know partially, you can do the rough work also. Like here I am doing partially. Look at here. 6, 4. These two now. 8. The nothing was there. It will be now 9. 9. Okay. This is, now you look at here. How you do the rough work. It is 16. It's 4. 8, 9, 9, you know, cutting and all that, so you know, class 9, not to teach that one, it feels same on that. So now it is 9, 9, 8, 4. Clear? Understood? 10,000 minus 16, 9,984. This is the way also you can solve. Clear? Now I'll do some question, factorize using identity. Clear? Now look at here, these questions, you have to factorize, that means this one you have to produce into two or more terms, product terms, okay, that's called factorize. Now look at here, first what I told you, taking common, first chart, there's no minus sign taking common, number, 9, 6, no number here, that means that also not common, alphabet, x square, x, there's no x, that also not common alphabet, y is not here, that also no chance to take common, then the only one of another two options left one is applying formula another one is splitting the middle term i'll come to the next class what is splitting the middle term so here what we'll do here you have to apply formula now what formula you have to apply all are plus you remember the formula of a plus b whole square but you know only these to these you don't know from here to here 
I'll give you the idea. If first and last term you can make whole square, then you can write two from the formula thinking and A can write here and B can write here. If after writing this, this multiplication tally with your question in the question paper or book, then we can apply this formula. But what is the formula? A plus B whole square we can write. Like instead of that, we can write A plus B whole square. Clear? Now we apply it. Look at it. What I told you? First, you have to target to make whole square. Can I make whole square 9x square? Yes. What number? 3x. Clear? Then I keep plus sign here and go to the last part. Can I make whole square this? Yes, I can make y whole square, isn't it? Then what I told you, if we can make whole square, then you write here in the middle 2 for the formula thinking and bring this one here into 3x. Y also bring it here into y. What I told you after writing this, check it is tallying in the question paper or not. What is we getting? 2, 3 is a 6xy. Look at here, it's tally. If it is tally, we can say this plus this. Like first and last term, whole square. 3x and y, whole square. What sign you have to do? Depend on product sign. What is the product sign? Plus, so it will follow here. Plus. If product sign minus, it will be minus. So this is square, whole square. How many times? Two times. You can write like this. If teachers understand, no problem. Somewhere, some places, they're not understand. They're asking, they want to get exactly book answers. So for that sake of the book answers, you can write like this. But understanding is more important than the book answers. This is understand. Square means there are two factors. That is more important. And it will, it will carry you the, if you come out as an engineer in one future day, then it will be carried out. So you have to go with that thinking, clear? Square means two factors, clear? Cube means three factors. So otherwise you can write that also, two factors. That is called factorize, understood? Clear or not? Now if it is minus, then what will happen? This is also minus. Others are plus. This also become minus. And these two also become minus. And the formula will be, this minus means this also minus. Are you clear? Understand or not? Now I show you the expand. I'll show you the one big formula a plus b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. That formula you have to apply here. Okay? That's called expand. Okay? From small to big this much. Expand. Okay. Look at this question. The question is expand. You know rubber band? Rubber band? Look at here rubber band. You know rubber band, no? If we can pull it both sides, it will be, you know, that's called expand. We'll do like this. Square, you have to expand. Remember the formula. You think A minus B plus C whole square. What is the formula? Remember it. Tell me. What is this? A square plus B square. I spray, I trace on the sign plus because there's a square term. Plus C square. Then when you multiply the product, minus plus minus 2ab, minus plus minus 2bc, plus into plus plus 2ca, correct? Now I'll write in here, a square means, the formula what is there? a square plus b square plus c square, then what will be minus plus minus 2ab, minus 2bc, and plus, this is the formula, no? So I, this is the formula. I'm just writing a formula to uh, what do you call? Focus on the formula to apply these equations. Look at a square means 3x whole square. But here, student made mistake. What do you know? They didn't give bracket. They write 3x square, and that is wrong. 3x square means only x square, not 3 3 also square. So that way you have to be very careful. A square means everything could be square. Then plus b square 2y. Some of the thinking, sir, we not write minus. Minus square already in build. Like, if you write minus, also minus into minus, plus. No need to write. Already we know the formula. They are not writing plus. Minus already carry out. Already calculate it. Clear? Then plus 7z whole square. 
So 3 times square finish. Now look at here. Plus into minus. Minus. 2. This into this. 2 into 3x into 2y. Again, minus into plus. We are doing the product term, no? Minus into plus minus. 2 into 2y into 7z. Clear? Again, third into first. First is first into second. Second into third. Now, third into first. That is called cyclic order, no? 1, 2, 3. If I write here, first into second. Second into third. Then third into first. Cyclic order. So, now, plus, plus, plus. 2 into, 2 is a formula, then 7z into 3x, 7z into 3x. Now look at it, how much it will come out? You have to only use single term, no need to find this one. So now, 9x square plus 4y square plus 7, 7s are 49z square. Now here, minus 2, 3s are 6. 6, 2 is 12, first number, then x, y. Clear? Then minus 2, 2 is 4, 4, 7 is how much? 28, y, z. And the last one is plus, if you write here, also okay, but I write here, same thing. 2, 7 is 14. 14, 3 is 42, z, x. Some of them cannot do directly. Because I know multiplication table 14, that's why I can do directly. You can do like this, 2, 3 is a 6, 6, 7 is a 42. Same thing. So this is expanding. Now, next class I'll show you how, if the question is given, how we can come back here as a factorize. This is expand. But when answer as a question, we go back to the question. And from answer to the go back to the question, that's a factorize cases. Okay. I'll come to, I'll come to the next class to teach you from here how you can come back there. Clear? Thank you. We'll meet in the next class.